Are you ready to turn your imagination into reality? Tripo AI is a next-generation AI platform that can generate high-quality, detailed 3D models with PBR materials from text or images, all within minutes. With the launch of Tripo 3.0, the platform has reached an exciting new milestone. Compared to previous versions, the new Algorithm 3.0 delivers sharper geometry, cleaner topology, and richer, production-ready textures. With standard mode for speed and ultra mode for maximum detail, Tripo 3.0 isn't just faster, it's smarter, more precise, and built for real-world use. Now, let's take a closer look at Tripo 3.0 and explore its powerful new features. First, let's sign up to try Tripo for free. If you register using the invite link and code I've shared in the video description, you'll receive an extra 500 credits. Together with the 300 credits included in the free version, this gives you a total of 800 credits to start with. Keep in mind that the free version has some feature limitations. To unlock the full experience, you'll need to upgrade to one of the paid plans. With an annual subscription, you already get 20% off. And on top of that, by using the discount code I've shared in the description, you'll enjoy an extra 60% discount. Don't miss this amazing opportunity. Once you've signed up for Tripo, click the Generate 3D Models button in the top right corner. This will take us into Tripo Studio. At the top of the interface, you'll notice seven different tabs. Each of these tabs serves a unique purpose, and together, they give you full control over your workflow. Let's begin with the Generate tab, where we'll learn how to create our 3D model. You'll notice two generation modes, one click and build and refine. One click mode instantly produces a fully textured model that's ready to use. It's perfect when you want fast, high quality results with minimal setup. Just provide your input and Tripo handles the rest. Build and refine mode gives you more control over the modeling process, letting you refine every detail before applying textures. Click on the image and text to 3D tab. Here, you'll see two options. You can upload an existing image file if you already have one, or you can type a prompt into the text box to generate an image. Type your prompt in the box, then click on Generate Image Preview. This will create a preview image and the process will cost 10 credits. The image generation process may take a little time. Once the image is ready, you can move on to creating the 3D model from it. In my case, instead of generating a new one, I'll upload an image that I previously created with a free prompt in ChatGPT. I chose this image because it's perfect for testing how well Tripo 3.0 can handle both surface details and rusty metallic textures. This way, we can clearly see the strengths of the model in generating realistic PBR materials. When creating your model, you can also choose a style. In this example, I won't apply any style. One of the most important features in Tripo 3.0 is the mesh resolution setting. The Ultra option provides maximum detail for the most intricate and realistic models. The Standard option provides faster generation with a good balance of speed and quality. Another useful setting here is Privacy. This option controls who can view the model you generate. In public mode, everyone can view the model. In private mode, only you can see the model. In sharing only mode, only people with the link can access it. In this example, I'll select private, so the model will only be visible to me. The smart low poly option automatically reduces and optimizes the polygon count of your model. This means the model becomes lighter and easier to handle. It works much better in games, AR and VR applications, or web environments where performance matters. Details are preserved as much as possible, so the model still looks good. If you enable the Smart Low Poly option, keep in mind that generating the model will cost 55 credits instead of 35. The HD Texture option allows you to add higher resolution and more detailed textures to your model. This makes your model look sharper and more realistic, especially in close-up shots or when creating high-quality renders. The Topology option decides the polygon type of your 3D model. Quad meshes, four-sided, are best for animation and editing, while triangle meshes, three-sided, are lighter and better for real-time use, like games. The poly count controls how many polygons your 3D model will have. Higher poly count gives more detail but can be heavier to process, while lower poly count makes the model lighter and easier to edit. If you set poly count to auto, Tripo will automatically choose an optimal polygon count based on your model and the selected settings. Finally, let's select Tripo's latest model, 3.0. You can also choose previous versions if you like, but if you want more detailed models with realistic textures, Tripo 3.0 is the best choice for this. Once all the settings are configured, 
You can click the Generate button to start creating your model. The generation process may take a little time. Once the model is generated, you can navigate it using the mouse. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom, left-click and drag to rotate, and right-click and drag to pan. The results are truly remarkable. Tripo 3.0 demonstrates exceptional precision in geometry and outstanding quality in PBR materials, highlighting the power of this latest version. The textures are high resolution and visually striking, resulting in a 3D model that looks highly realistic and professionally crafted. By clicking the buttons just below, you can view the model in both wireframe and solid modes. As you can see, the model is highly detailed and has a high polygon count. You can access information about the model's topology and polygon count in the top right corner. In the right panel, you can control your model's PBR settings. The PBR toggle turns PBR on or off in the viewport. The metallic slider adjusts how metallic the surface looks. The roughness slider controls how smooth or matte the surface appears. These settings only affect the viewport in Tripo Studio. We will cover generating PBR textures during the texturing stage later. Now, let's generate the same model using Tripo version 2.5 and compare the results. Comparing Tripo 2.5 and Tripo 3.0, the improvements are clear. Tripo 3.0 creates sharper, more precise meshes with cleaner topology. Its PBR textures are richer, more detailed, and highly realistic, capturing surface details like scratches and metal wear. Overall, Tripo 3.0 delivers professional, production-ready 3D models. Segmentation automatically divides a 3D model into separate, logical parts. This makes it much easier to edit, retexture, or animate specific sections of the model without affecting the rest. It's especially useful for complex or mechanical models where individual components need independent adjustments. As mentioned earlier, the segmentation currently only supports triangle topology. If your model has a quad topology, segmentation will not work. Now, let's go to the Segmentation tab and click the Start Segmentation button. This process will cost 40 credits and may take some time to complete. Once the segmentation process is complete, you'll see the model automatically divided into multiple parts, each shown in a different color. You can select each part individually and move it using the Move tool. To return any part to its original position, simply select it and click the Reset button under the Transform section in the right panel. To merge separated parts, hold down the Control key and select the parts you want to combine. Then, click the Merge button in the bottom panel. The selected parts will change to the same color, indicating that they are now merged. The brush tool allows you to manually adjust or refine the segments. You can paint over areas to add them to a segment or remove them. To use the brush tool, click the brush icon. Then, use the color picker tool to select the color you want to paint on the model. Adjust the brush size as needed and paint the desired area. Here, I'm painting to define exactly where the body and arm should be separated. The edges of the paint may appear rough or jagged, but this isn't a problem. Precision isn't critical because we'll apply part completion later, which will smooth the joining areas automatically. Using the brush tool, we can also add a new part to the model. For example, let's separate the eyes from the head. Click the Add Part tool, which assigns a new, independent color to the selected area. Then, use the brush tool to paint the eye spheres. As mentioned before, the painting doesn't need to be precise. After completing the painting and merging process, make sure to click the Save Changes button to save your edits. Otherwise, the model will revert to its originally generated segmentation. Now you can see the model fully segmented into parts and sections. In the top right panel under Hierarchy, you can select individual parts of the model and click the eye icon in the studio to hide them. Now let's refine the separated parts for a smoother and more precise finish. First, select all the parts of the model individually from the top right panel. Once all parts are selected, click the Part Completion button to start the process. The number of credits used will increase depending on the number of parts in the model. In this case, the process will cost me 55 credits. Once the part completion process is done, you'll see that Tripo has separated each part much more smoothly and precisely. Another great feature of Tripo is that every step of the model creation process is saved, so if you're not satisfied with the result, you can easily go back to any point you want. For this, click on the History tab located at the bottom right corner. Here, all your previous actions are stored for a certain period of time. For example, 
To revert the model back to the automatically generated segmentation stage, simply click on the AI segmentation step. At this point, if you want to manually repaint the model or merge segments, click on the three-dot icon and choose Restore this version. Now, let's return to the latest stage Tripo generated. The retopology helps you create a cleaner, more optimized mesh by reorganizing the model's geometry. High poly or complex models usually have messy and dense surfaces. Retopology rebuilds these surfaces into a lower poly mesh while still preserving the original shape. This makes the model much lighter and more suitable for animation, rigging, and use in game engines. As we mentioned before, Smart Low Poly automatically reduces the polygon count of your model while keeping the overall shape and details. Since I don't want to sacrifice mesh detail, I'm disabling this feature. We can keep the mesh in either quad or triangle topology. As you can see, our mesh currently has a triangle topology. I want to convert it to quad topology, so I'll select the quad option. Poly count determines the model's level of detail. Higher poly count gives more detail but is heavier, while lower poly count is lighter but less detailed. Setting it to auto lets Tripo optimize the polygons automatically. Now, select all parts from the right panel and click the Retopology button to start the process. This will cost 10 credits. After Retopology is complete, you'll see that each part has been converted to Quad Topology. By selecting each part, you can check both the topology type and the polygon count in the top right corner. Now, let's click on the Texture tab and explore its options. Here, you can create or edit textures for your model. You can generate them from an image or a text prompt, and if there are any flawed areas, you can fix them using the magic brush to regenerate and paint over imperfections. Since we generated the model in one-click mode, it already comes with full PBR textures. But if you want to change the texture, you can still generate a new one by entering a prompt or uploading a reference image. Now, I'll go back to the Generation tab, and this time, generate a model in Build and Refine mode without textures. Let's select the Build and Refine tab and enter a text-to-image prompt to generate the image. In this case, we'll generate a red car by clicking the Generate button. As you can see, Tripo has generated a highly detailed car model, but without any textures. Now, let's switch to the Texture tab to generate textures. Here, you can either enter a text prompt or use a reference image. I'll use the same image to generate its texture. Make sure the texture quality is set to HD. Texture alignment offers two modes. Image alignment, which maps textures based on your reference image. Structure alignment, which fits the texture to the model's geometry for a more natural result. Here, I'm selecting the image alignment option. Next, click the generate texture button. The result looks truly impressive. The textures closely match the original image. However, to achieve the metallic and reflective look on the surface, we need to use the PBR generator to add metallic and roughness maps to the material. Go to the PBR generator tab and start generating PBR. Now the textures look much more realistic. With PBR materials, the model's surfaces interact with light, giving them a more detailed and lifelike appearance. Finally, let's take a look at the Magic Brush tool. We'll explore it using the robot model we created earlier. Click the Magic Brush tab and go into the workspace. With the Magic Brush, you can repair the existing texture and achieve more creative results. To use the Magic Brush, first unlock the camera to position your model at the desired angle for texture repair. Once the view is set, lock the camera again, as the generated texture will be applied based on this locked perspective. You can either use the default prompt or enter a custom texture prompt to generate new textures. I will use the same prompt here. Adjust the Creativity Strength slider to control how closely the new texture matches the original. Move it left for a closer match or right for more creative variation. Then, click the Generate Preview button. As you can see, a new version of the texture has been generated based on the original one. To apply this new texture to the model, use the magic brush on the model in the right panel. The old texture is replaced by the new one, which is truly impressive. Magic Brush allows for very creative results. You can also adjust the brush size and hardness. However, this only works from the current view and camera perspective. To texture the backside of the model, unlock the camera and rotate it. As you'll notice, the backside still has the old texture. Set a new camera angle, lock the camera again, click the Generate Preview button to create a new texture and apply it to the model. 
Magic Brush has a paint mode, allowing us to paint directly on the model as desired. First, switch to paint mode and select the red color. Unlock the camera and zoom in on the eyes, then paint them red. Once all Magic Brush edits are complete, don't forget to click the Save Texture button to save the current texture. Finally, click the Generate PBR button to save the texture maps as PBR materials. The rigging section lets you automatically generate a skeleton and apply an animation for your character models. However, we need to merge the model back into a single part after the segmentation step. Otherwise, the animations won't work correctly once we apply rigging. For that reason, I'll test the rigging feature on the single piece model I created earlier. Let's go to the rigging tab and click the auto rig button to start the process. Once the rigging is done, you can select any animation from the left panel to apply it to your character. Tripo allows you to quickly rig your models and apply animations with ease. This makes it simple to bring your 3D characters to life and export them ready for any 3D software. Now, you can export the textured, rigged, and animated model for importing into any 3D software. To export your model, click the Export button in the bottom panel. Give your model a name, then choose from the available 3D formats. I'll select FBX. If you don't want to export the rig and animation, disable Export Skeleton. To position the pivot point at the center of the model, just under the feet, enable Bottom Center Pivot. Once all settings are done, click Export to download your model to your computer. Since I usually work with Blender, I'll import the model directly into Blender. In the viewport, hide the armature, then press Spacebar to play the animation. As you can see, the walking animation runs smoothly inside Blender. Switching to Material Preview mode, we can view the automatically generated PBR textures from Tripo in the Shader Editor. By adding a Color Ramp node, we can easily adjust the influence and strength of the texture maps. The Stylization tab allows you to give your model a specific artistic style. For example, you can make your model look like it's built out of Lego bricks or designed in a voxel art style. As you've seen, it makes creating, customizing, and exporting 3D models incredibly easy and fun. If you'd like to give it a try, I've got a special bonus for you. By registering with my invite link and code in the description, you'll get an extra 500 credits on top of the standard 300 free credits. That's 800 credits right from the start. Plus, you can enjoy a 60% discount on subscriptions using my discount code, also linked below. Don't miss out on this opportunity to explore 3D creation with Tripo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.